Today's video is a super exciting one because I'm going to be talking about my GCSE experience so far. So I'm going to be talking about how I found it, the lessons that I've had, and then I am going to go on to talk about the tips for the New Year 10s that are coming up. And then I'm just going to talk about some organisational tricks and tips for certain subjects. So I really hope that you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and yeah without further ado let's get straight on into the video so yeah my GCSE experience so far has been stressful to say the least um, when I first went into year 10 I was really really excited because obviously when you go into year 10 you've picked your options that you want to do so you're just doing the lessons that you like which I think is a lot better but then again the timetable is very very boring as you have minimal lessons um, so I found my timetable quite boring so I had um, biology and chemistry in the, like the same day um, which I really didn't like I, oh, I hate science um, and then I had uh, geography and history straight after each other and I mean I don't know, you guys, you might find this different, but I just found that my timetable was quite boring, although I did pick the subjects that I liked, so it made it a little bit easier. Um, and I actually enjoy all the subjects that I picked, so yeah, um, that's kind of my GCSE experience. Um, I will talk a little bit about the mocks really, really quickly. Um, I did a lot of revision for the mocks. One of my main tips is to revise for your mocks because they're actually really important and revise for them quite early don't like leave it till last minute because they are actually just like the real exams in year 11 so yeah please revise for your mocks uh yeah now i'm gonna go on and talk about my top tips for the new year 10s i've written this all on a notepad so i'm really sorry if i keep looking down but not much I can do about that. Um, so yeah, my first tip is to always do your homework. Do it when you get it to avoid a huge amount on a weekend and this just stops you from getting stressed. And yeah, it's just, you can now have fun on a weekend. Like you don't need to prioritize your weekend doing homework. So yeah, I'm really sorry that in this video I'm gonna sound like such a teacher, but this is just the tips that I would have liked to have known before I went into year 10. So I just thought I would share them with you. But yeah, tip number two is to revise, okay? So even if it's for a small little French vocab test or an end of topic test, you must revise. It is literally essential, so please do. Uh, it will really, really help you in the end result. And yeah, can I just say that when I started year 10, I didn't revise my end of topic test. I just thought, ah, oh, I'll wing it. Don't do that. I went from a grade four, which is a C, to a grade seven, which is an A, just from revising. So please just take the time out and revise because it will really help you. Um, the next one is to make revision resources along the way so that you don't have to make them before your final exam in year 11 because when you're going into year 11 you need to just recap your memory and you don't want to have to be making revision like flashcards, mind maps or whatever you just want to be able to refresh your memory and go over them because you don't want to take up your time when that is not like important to do um, yeah, you really should just be remembering it rather than having to learn it, if you understand what I mean. The next one is to contribute in lessons as it helps your understanding and it also helps the rest of your class's understanding. Um, so if you don't understand something, go and see your teacher and go and ask for help. That's really important because at the end of the day, you need to know this information. So if you don't get something, work harder to understand it um but yeah put your hand up in lessons and 
contribute because it, it like ticks a box in your head if you understand what I mean. So put your hand up and ask questions if you don't understand. Um, try to have a good attendance. So try to miss as little school as possible. This is essential because just by missing one day you are practically missing six lessons which is quite a lot and that's a lot of work to catch up on. Um, and I know this from experience because I had like 95% attendance last year in year 10 and I had to catch up on quite a lot of work and I didn't do like my homework on time and stuff and it just stressed me out so much more and it's just better to be in school do it when you're there rather than when you're having to do it at home and catch up because that is not fun do not waste your break time and your lunch times having to stay in and catch up just do it in your lesson be in school and you're great okay do clubs while you still have plenty of free time so when you're 10 you still have quite a lot of free time if you prioritize homework and revision sorry about the lighting the sun's just gone in <laughs> great um yeah you still have plenty of time because if you prioritize your homework and revision as soon as you get them then you've just got plenty of time haven't you so do clubs like last year i did athletics club tennis club hockey club football club drama club um steel pans um i think that was it to be honest yeah it was something like that so yeah do clubs the next one is to go on loads of school trips so basically just put your name down for opportunities like you don't really want to miss because in year 11 you can't really go on school trips because you have to stay in school and you have to do revision and work and whatever because it's a stressful year so while you can go on school trips like i put my name down for some really really cool school trips last year and i really enjoyed myself and it actually helped me so like i visited a university um, and a college and stuff like that and i thought that was great it really did help me to decide what I want to do and what it's like there so definitely just put your name down for school trips the final one is pack your bags the night before this is essential like I'm not even joking the amount of times that I left my bag and had to pack it the morning before left my homework left my entire pencil case at home um, when you get a negative for just forgetting like a pen for example you get a negative for it I forgot the entire pencil case luckily my friends were there to all chip in and give me different items of equipment thank god but yeah pack your bag the night before because you don't have to rush around doing it on a morning before school so yeah that is all my tips i just wanted to mention that if you don't like a subject that you've picked don't be afraid to ask to swap it to something that you will enjoy more because the school i'm pretty sure will always let you as long as it's near the start of the year like a few weeks in don't leave it for like half the year like they will not move you after half the year because you've missed out on the other subjects half like a topic or something i don't know so yeah just don't be afraid to ask to swap if you're not enjoying a subject but make sure that you can do it as early as possible so yeah that's just a little bit of advice for you all and now i'm going to go on to doing some organizational tricks for different subjects so the first one that i'm going to talk to you about is geography okay so in geography i really really recommend buying the cgp gcse aqa geography that will that's if you do aqa um I'm pretty sure that you all will do i'm not sure i'm not sure on like the different exam boards that there are but we do aqa and this is the book that i've got um and obviously at the start it just tells you um the structure of the course and everything so as you can see you've got unit one physical environment unit two human environment and unit three geographical applications and skills and stuff like that so that's what that looks like there 
and then you've got like sections within these units obviously so in the physical environment you have like section a the challenge of natural hazards section b the living world section c physical landscapes in the uk and just stuff like that and it's pretty much like that for the entire three units so to split these up so you know what unit is where i really really recommend getting like little folders i mean you can use a binder what it's like your personal preference it's up to you but personally i use these like little folders which school gave to us which i'm very very grateful for and basically on the front of here it just has my name if you can see and then it says paper one physical geography so then you know what paper it's in it's in your first exam and it's physical geography and everything that you do like revision and stuff is in here so i'll show you a bit of stuff in here so i just got like little mind maps on ecosystems um and then i've got some on deserts if you can see um and then i've got opportunities and challenges within a certain desert that you're going to study um, and then we got given these little booklets as well which i'll show you um i'm not sure how to show you this now um but yeah you get these and it's just unit one living with the physical environment deserts and yeah you just got all your all your stuff in there really and it's just questions like um using the climate graph you've drawn describe the climate for the tar desert which is the one that we were studying so I, then i'll describe the climate of it and you've also got exam practices in there and stuff like that i got nine out of nine on this one but yeah you've got things like that and it's just super super helpful to keep like physical geography together human geography and geographical skills and stuff like that together i've got three of these but the other two are at school the other thing i really want to recommend by doing in your um revision guide is using like little post-it note kind of markers here so i've got one there and this is just helping me to mark where i'm studying at the moment um or like something that maybe that i don't understand is here and that i need to work on and improve on so i'm doing about climate change at the minute so i've just stuck this near climate change so that i know that's what i'm doing and it's just so much easier to find so yeah i really really recommend doing that for geography for maths i recommend having a like a notebook kind of thing this is where you do all your like normal work at school and yeah so here's a bit on transformations um oops <laughs> yeah transformations are there and so obviously it's good to have a notebook where you do all your work at school and then we also got given a book for Hegarty Maths so if you don't know what Hegarty Maths is it's basically just a revision website with questions on to practice and I find this really really helpful um, so I just do all my Hegarty Maths homework in this book here and so then I've got my notebook to practice and get my revision like notes from and then I've got this one to put my revision into action and try out the questions so I really really recommend doing this even if your school doesn't like provide you with this just do it like on your own um, at home because it really really works and is super super helpful so I recommend doing that and the final subject that I'm going to talk to you about is history. So in history, what I've done is we get binders um, and we put all our work in here. So as you can see, this is really, really full. And in this one, I've got America 1920 till 1973. And then conflict and tension 1919 till 1939. I believe that's off the top of my head i'm not too sure um but yeah so this is just really helpful um so i put everything in the plastic wallet and then i use like little dividers here just to divide the work up and then i've got like obviously 
exam style questions. So I really recommend if you do this. So your teachers will most likely give you one of these if you do history. Um, and it's just basically your like sections within the unit and then they give you some like questions which are going to come up on the ex actual exam um, they, they're not going to be like these exact questions but like they mainly like them so then obviously you've just got all your all your work in here and I just really recommend doing this because it is super useful. So instead of buying like four really, really small um, binders, I recommend getting one big, two big ones, sorry, and putting your year 10 units in here and then putting your year 11 units in here. So we've done, a, we've started a bit of our year 11 works as you can see. So in here I've just got like a few bits on medicine through time and health in the people during like the medieval times so yeah um and i just find this really really useful to divide your work and yeah and it obviously you can put your exam questions in there as well and i find these methods really really useful so yeah they are the organizational tricks and tips that i have shared with you and that is all for today's video I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I'm kind of out of breath now. I've spoke to you for 17 minutes. But yeah, subscribe to my channel because it would mean so, so much to me. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.